Hello everybody who is watching this video. Today I'm going to do a test on Bayshon Wild Talk Special. This is what I like to call the third generation. This is a factory um, reconditioned control unit. So this is the newest one I have. I have the old one which is right there. I'm going to explain about that later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the pump. I already submerged everything in water down there. The back pump is on that side. The main pump is there. The main pump has been unplugged. I'm just going to charge it right now. Here we go. As you can see, the light's on, but the alarm is not because I silenced the alarm. So I make it a silent test. I also shut off the furnace to make it a silent test. So the viewer could hear how the pump would sound under pressure. It has based on what to do a flow switch. And what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to simulate a um, flow switch failure. I'm going to remove this flow, which is very easy. Let me try that right now. Hopefully I'm going to activate the pump with this. Now I can't do that. The bottom tip out. Either way, these flo these floats are easy to remove anyway. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the pump. I'm gonna lift one of the flow switch. I have the um, pump submerged. The lift is about five feet to the top. So turn on my light. Wrong one. And let's get pumped. And I want to take the thing away. And activate the float. Pumps out reasonably well. About empty now. And it's about to shut off. Now, where's all that water coming from? Let me show you. As you can see, I routed the pipe, which um, drains all the water into the drain towel again. So I have extra water to use. Just in case I need this again. So yeah, it's all done here. There it goes. Not splitting up the sump pit now, or if I want to be. Yeah. Let me drag this in a little. So yeah, this is my new control unit. This is what I call third generation. It specifically comes with the dual flow switch and well I have some other stuff with the dealing with the alarm so if the, what they do know is if the battery alarm comes on you cannot silence it at all compared to the older control unit which I do have here if the battery, do, battery alarm does come on you can silence for at least 24 hours that's what I know the reason why I bought this brand new control unit is because this unit right here they do have some um, circuit board exposed um, had a problem with the battery alarm and the pump going off as well as a charger problem right here um, the battery alarm will go off every three weeks and um, what did they find out it was a false alert from the system now I talked to um, people from Glentronics which is a manufacturer of basin watchdog products and they recommended that um, I should just send a unit over there but since I live close by, I live like in somewhere in Lombard and from here to Lincolnshire is not like about 15 miles away. I decided to go to the headquarters and well swap units. So I swapped this old one, which is a I believe a 2004 model with a single float switch I have taken apart with this um, factory reconditioned unit control unit with a dual float switch with new charger except for the pump. Pump is so original. So yeah. Now this unit does work, and I'll demonstrate that. I still have the original charger for the unit right here. Let me just connect it. 
It just comes out with false battery alerts all the time and runs the pump by itself without no um, pump light. And it does work. That's the water alarm, that's the system operating light. And so it's now showing the battery light right now. So I'm gonna take that off because that noise is bugging me. So yeah, it does work still. It just comes with the false battery alerts because I believe um it was not surge protected, so it got damaged by lightning, I believe. Take the charger out. So yeah, let's look at the back side of it. Well, of course, you got your three little processors here. They're all the same because when I looked at the numbers, they're all exact same numbers. You got your fuse, your pump wires, little connectors that go back down there. That's a float switch, um, float switch wire that's removable. So if, if you want to service it um, yourself, that you can remove that. And there you see, have that removed. Your little definitions for the lights here, such as the bay light says it's corroded and all the lights are on here. There is your little buzzer, which uh, makes an annoying noise there. Yeah, taking all this stuff out without damaging or cutting this is a pain in the ass. That's for sure. But I did, I did manage to take it out, except for those floats, which I did to cut that instead. So yeah, it does work. It's got damaged by no surge protector, maybe by lightning. So yeah. Um, this pump, which I do have right now, um, I had an older one of these, but, um, at my old house, it's also based on one dock special, but the difference between this new unit is, it's cut in half, you place all this green accenting with the blue, put two buttons here, one is test, one is reset, and that's pretty much it, and it did not come with an automatic charging system compared to this unit, which does come with an automatic charging system. Um, that unit is still in service at my old house, and it's been in the service for 18 years so far, and so far, I hadn't experienced any kind of failures with the system, nor had I experienced any um, replacements, like I had to replace a charger, I've never done that yet. Now, um, surprisingly, the old system is very reliable, so I was like, huh. Um, the, the reason I mean this had to do with that old system is I just had to go to the house and just add the stood water to the battery, and that's like the um, most recent one, that was like three months ago. Otherwise, the old unit was very fine for me. I I, decided, I was satisfied with it. Had plenty of pumping power for it, um for the price, and it's present still works up to this day. It's 18 years old. I, if I do get to go to my other house one day, I'll just take a photo of the old system.